It's somewhere between art and education. If you can, if you can capture those two things, you're home and dry, you know. Jay Mary Doyle, who runs Lupine Films, approached us and told us that he was moving premises and closing his production offices. Therefore, all of the material that he had amassed over the previous 30 years needed a new home and it needed to be preserved. So the IFI, in conjunction with Lupine, did an application to the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland's archiving scheme and we were successful. And over the last number of years, our team, along with Loopline, have been cataloguing, digitising and preserving 900 hours of footage that tells the story of Ireland over the last 30 years. It's great that I don't have to worry about it anymore, but it's also great that a new generation can enjoy the footage. I think that's the most important thing, whether they be scholars or future filmmakers or whatever. It's now getting a new type of uh, a lease of life. I always thought Dublin was a great city, and Dublin, and what I mean by that is its people and its culture, whether it be markets and, and inner city life and all the rest. And it was being eroded at that time, and I, I think the community themselves had to fight back. So I, I was kind of capturing the, their own struggle to retain their own identity. In a way, back then, people had no money, but they did have houses. And now, uh, today, people have money, but they've no houses. You know, so it's kind of like. There's always a different problem going on in whatever generation you're, you're in. And it, uh, to me, this uh, idea of no matter what happens in, in a social democracy, this is the one tenet that people should have is a right to have a roof over their head and some sort of you know, standard of, of living. And if not, that's when those dark forces start to come in, whether it be, be, be drugs or people are being forced into, into lifestyles that is not natural to them. You know. Uh, so I, I, I hope that when these films get shown, it does awaken th that conversation again, you know. I mean, that's the core thing, whether it's about Patrick Cavanagh, his poetry, whether it's about Patrick Scott, his life and painting, or else, in this sense, a social situation in the north inner city. So it's somewhere between art and education. If you, can, if you can capture those two things, you're home and dry, you know. When you're watching the outtakes of your own past, it, it, there, there is something dreamlike about it, you know. You're remembering, you're remembering all sorts of things associated around that time in your life. Uh, I wouldn't say it's great a closure, but it's, it's just, there's a great feeling walking into the IFI this morning and seeing this little lad. Documentary, in essence, is a document, and a document is in some ways that you learn something.